Hi, I'm Dave Mars with Conservation Tips. You know, we install storm doors on our home to add beauty, increase the security of the home, as well as what this series is all about, save money on utility bills. But all these advantages can be outweighed if in the summertime we get some solar heating on this door. Now, if we have any sort of full sun or partial sun on an exterior door like this with a storm door, this space between these two doors can become like a solar oven. And that's not only going to ruin the interior door, that it also is going to raise your utility bills. So today on Tips, we're going to take a look at a few alternatives to take care of that problem for you. Even though this door is shaded by its porch most of the day, it gets about three hours in the afternoon where it's getting full sun. Now, this kind of door does not allow for much ventilation. And by the way, if you're thinking about adding a storm door, you might want to get one that has some vents in it so we can get the heat out of there. As the sunlight penetrates the glass, it hits this dark surface and that this door in effect becomes a radiant heater for the inside that your air conditioner has to work against to cool down. Now, not only does it raise your air conditioning costs, it will ruin this door. As you can see on here, the sunlight's already penetrating and messing with the structure of the door itself. Now, I've done temperature readings on metal clad, dark painted doors up to 170 degrees. So not only is it gonna raise your utility bills, it may actually burn your hand if you touch it. Now, to stop the sun from coming in, you've got a variety of options. On this porch, since there's a nice rail out here, you might be able to hang a roller shade like this and block the sunlight from coming in. Or, you might want to paint the door a lighter color, which will help reflect the heat. But that might fit your style or, you know, the kind of house that you have. So, you might consider adding some reflective film to the back of the storm door. To add reflective film to your door, you can go to the hardware store and find a variety of products available. They come in a variety of densities and styles. You can pick one to fit your door. Now, a door is a pretty big project, so you might want to start on a smaller uh, project like a window or something first just to get your practice together. Of course, there's companies that will do professionally for you. You don't have to mess with this at all. But if you are a do-it-yourselfer, here's what you do. You want to measure your glass, of course, from top to bottom and give yourself a couple of extra inches because we're going to cut this down once it is adhered to the glass. We can trim it off with a razor blade and so we're not going to waste any material that way. So we're going to start cutting here and you can see it cuts very easily with a nice sharp scissors. Now we cut the film to width by using a nice straight edge, adding about another inch so we're making sure that's wide enough to put onto the door. We can trim it down later with a razor knife. The next trick is to go ahead and separate the two layers of plastic. There's a protective layer that's clear and the actual plastic is going to be put on the door. You use pieces of tape like this and that helps separate the films like this. And you want to separate, pull this inner layer off and that exposes this adhesive layer. And that's the side that's going to go on the door. Once you get the protective plastic off the film, you need to wet it with this solution. You can buy this at the same store you buy the kit. It has a nice spray applicator and you go ahead and spray the entire surface. Now we want it nice and even. We don't want any particular puddles of this solution because we're also going to do this on the door because we're going to stick this wet on wet on the door and that's the way the adhesive starts to work. Now we've gone ahead and sprayed the door also with this uh, solution so that we're going to put the film wet on wet and that enables us to work the air bubbles out. Now, of course, it's need to be said that you need to clean this glass really well before you put this film on. That might mean using some steel wool or some razor blades. Make sure that it's absolutely as clean as possible or else you're going to show up as little you know, air bubbles and stuff and not look as professional as you might like. Then you go ahead and you squeeze the surface like this with the same solution. And you use a squeegee. Now, I'm using the large one that comes in the kit to help work the air bubbles out. And you work the air bubbles out toward the edge like this. And as you use that solution, you can see it doesn't scratch your plastic while you're squeegeeing out all the air bubbles. Now once you get the squeegeeing done, you get all your air bubbles out, you want to come back with a nice sharp utility knife like this, and perhaps a straight edge like this to get a nice clean cut. And just run that blade right along the top of the plastic here. And then it gets a nice even edge across the top of that door and the sides too. Then it's just a matter of peeling the plastic off like this very carefully now. And that's about all there is to it. Now you may want to cover this door if it's going to catch any full sun. You might want to cover this door with a sheet or something while this film is drying to make sure that it doesn't bubble and pucker up on you, you know, when you're going to do all this work. And that's basically the job done. You squeegee out all the air bubbles, get a nice clean cut along the edges. 
pretty well that'll stay the way it is. Now if you're going to get some sunlight on this, it might dry it you know, pretty fast. You might want to cover this with a sheet or something. I'm going to slow dry so it doesn't shrink up on you. Now if it seems like too big a task, you may want to try it on a small window like this first to get uh, your practice together. And it also works very well on windows to uh, help keep the heat off from coming into them. Uh, of course, if it looks like too big a task for you, I'd have it professionally done. Now today Mars the Conservation Tips, where our goal is to save you money and help our community conserve. I'll see you next time.